hello friends uh, welcome back now this video is about factorizing by completing the squares there are different ways of factorizing a an expression you're focusing on uh, quadratic or trinomials okay where you have an x squared and then you have a term of x and then a constant so the different ways and i feel and i think uh, one of the best way uh, which is very useful later on also in graphs is to factorize by completing the square so this is what you may have learned suppose let us start with a very simple example where the question is factorize x squared plus 12x plus 20 so what we do is you think of two numbers which uh, when you multiply so I made a column of A and B, the two numbers. When you multiply, this dot means multiply. So if you multiply 1 times 20, that gives you 20. Now where is that 20? That is this 20. I'm talking about this 20. And when you add those numbers, you get 21. So 1 times 20 gives you 20, and 1 plus 20 gives you 21. In other words, you can see the two factors of 20 which adds to give you uh, 12 is what we are looking for so this is one you start with one okay then you when you look at two so you can say well two times 10 is 20 and 2 plus 10 does give you 12 so this is a the right combination of 2 and 10 so we what we do is we split the middle term this is called also splitting of middle term so what I've done is this 12x has been written as 10x plus 2x okay so 12x has a 10x and a 2x and now the next step is you factorize by grouping so when you take this group of x squared plus 10x the common factor is um, x so you factor out x so you get x plus 10 and when you take this group the second group the common factor is 2 so if you factor out 2 you get x plus 10 so from four terms, you have made this into two expressions. So this is x times x plus 10 plus 2 times x plus 10. Now again, x plus 10 is a common factor. So if you factor out x plus 10, you write x from here and 2 from here. And you can confirm your answer by expanding. If you expand this, you will get this. This is good. This is a good method. There's nothing wrong in this method. But when you have an example like this, say x squared plus 2x minus 783 you have to think of two numbers or the two factors of 783 which gives you plus 2 and this will take a long time to figure out you can do different combinations and you can come to this answer so I'm going to discuss a method which is called factorizing by completing the square now to understand that method we need to understand what is a perfect square okay Okay, so let us look at perfect square. I'll talk about this difference of two squares later. So if we have an expression like this, x squared plus 2x plus 1, this is a perfect square that factorizes to x plus 1 squared. Okay, so you can understand the two factors of 1 which gives you 2 are 1 and 1. And that factorizes to x plus 1 times x plus 1. The two factors of 4 which gives you 4 are 2 and 2. So that is x plus 2 squared. The two factors of 9 which gives you 6 are 3 and 3. It gives you x plus 3 squared. So the same thing, the two factors of 16 which gives you 8 are 4 and 4. Okay, now when you have a minus, you are thinking the two factors of 36 which gives you minus 12. So the two factors of 36, the two factors should be minus 6 and minus 6. Why? Because negative 6 times negative 6 gives you plus 36, and negative 6 plus negative 6 gives you negative 12. So this is x minus 6. In the same way here, the two factors of plus 100, which gives you, uh, which gives you, uh, sorry, this is wrong. This so let us. This should be 25, sorry. So instead of 20, 100, it should be 25. Okay, I will delete that. So 
this should be 25 sorry two factors of 25 which gives you minus 10 uh, minus 5 and minus 5 so this should also change so this should be minus 5 so this would be x minus 5 squared now if you look at this pattern how to identify a perfect square this is how you identify a perfect square so what you do is half of 2 is 1 and then 1 squared is 1 uh, so half of 4 so 4 divided I'll write it here half of 4 that means 4 divided by 2 is 2 and then 2 squared is equal to 4 sorry 2 squared is equal to 4 same way the half of 6 is 3 and 3 squared is 9 half of 16 sorry half of 8 is 4 and 4 squared is 16 half of 7 sorry 14 is 7 and 7 squared is 49 same way half of negative 6 is sorry half of negative 12 is negative 6 and square of negative 6 is plus 36 half of negative uh, half of negative 10 is negative 5 and square of negative 5 is 25 so this is how you identify a perfect square now this is the second uh, formula or the second expression which is very useful uh, to factorize in this method which is called difference of two squares so if you have an expression like this x squared minus 16 I hope you know you factor you factorize this as x plus 4 times x minus 4 so if you expand it you can very clearly see x times x is x squared then you've got a plus 4x minus 4x which gets cancelled and negative 16 the same way with here, x squared minus 81 factorizes to x plus 9 times x minus 9. Okay, now, you can do one step uh, before writing the factor. So this, if you want to write one step before this, you can write this as, say, x squared minus 4 squared. 16 can be written as 4 squared. And so it factorizes to x plus 4. This can be written as x squared minus 9 squared. And so it factorizes to x squared minus 9 squared. So, well, this can be written as x squared minus 7 squared. And so this is how you factorize. Now, Show me the formula. This is a useful formula to remember. This is the formula of perfect square. So this is the perfect square. And this is difference of two squares. Okay, so let me. Uh, so this is. Mm, this is use an arrow so this is the difference of two squares S Q U A R E S. okay that's fine so so these are the two formulas uh, a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared is a plus of b plus of b squared that means if you have a plus here, you put a plus here, and if you have a minus, you put minus. Now, difference of two squares, the formula is like this. A squared minus B squared is A plus B times A minus B, or A minus B times A plus B. So if you remember these two formulas, it's very useful to factorize. So let us do one example to start with. So I've taken that same example, X squared plus 2X minus 783. So what I did was half of 2 is 1, so two, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and then 1 squared is equal to 1. So what you do is, you basically half this and then square it, and that is this 1. Now this 1 is something that I have written on my own, so to cancel this I'll do, I'll take away 1. So basically what I've done is I haven't done anything. I've added 1 and then taken, taken away 1. 
and then year is your minus 783. So now what happens, this expression is a perfect square of x plus 1 squared, minus 784, because minus 1 minus 783 gives you minus 784. Now, if you use a calculator, you can confirm square root of 784 is 28, so I'll show you. So, uh, shift square root of 784 is 28, or the same thing, if you do the opposite of that, that is 28 squared is 784. So 784 can be written as 28 squared. So to get 28, you do the square root. Okay, so that's what I did. I did square root of 784, which is 28. That same thing means 28 squared is uh, 784. So instead of 784, now I can write as 28 squared. Now this has become difference of two squares. So we know the formula. What's the formula? Let's go back. So the formula is a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b or the other way around. Okay. So I use that formula. So that is x plus 1 minus 28 times x plus 1 plus 28. And plus 1 minus 28 gives you minus 27 and plus 1 plus 28 gives you plus 29. I'll continue doing a few more examples in the next video. See you then. Thank you.